somebody rush to help me. Whew. Oh, lady, this heat is hot as. Mum says it's a heat wave. She's a big fan of the weather. It's her favourite TV show. <laughs> Boring. <sighs> Yuck! Cut it out, bro! <coughs> oh, what is that stuff? Ugh, it really gets to the back of your throat. It's called unsafe bug spray. Mum orders it in bulk. Yeah, well, seems pretty unsafe, bro. Yeah, it's uh, right there in the name. Come on, you lot. Everyone's heading down to the town hall to hear Mayor Dennis ramble on about something. Okay, you lot, quieten down, please. It's town meeting time. Item one, summer. Okay, that's the first item. It's proving to be a hot one this year. And as Officer Rodge has just informed me, there's gonna be a hose pipe ban in full effect. All right, I'm not sure what that means. What's a hose pipe ban, Rodge? Dennis, water wastage in a time like this is a very serious issue. Oh, it's straightforward. No hose pipes. Um, in fact, okay, I... Okay, yep, we get it. Jeez, who pushed his button? There's no reason to get so hot under the collar. <laughs> hot under the collar. Oh, that's just good wordplay right there. <laughs> yes. Yes, I, I thought I'd inject a bit of humour into the proceedings. You know, just to lighten the mood. After all, I wouldn't want you all to get... <clears throat> hot under the collar. <laughs> Said it again there. <laughs> I mean... Maybe it's the heat making me delirious, but where does he get this stuff? Huh? Please don't encourage him, Fridge. Item two, earthquakes. Well, more of an urban myth, really. Hardly worth a mention, if you ask me. A couple of nervous Nellies just reporting a few rumblings. It's probably their tummies. <laughs> uh, nothing to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> If we don't take it seriously, Dennis, someone's going to get hurt. Oh, come on. Harry's just naturally wobbly. Aren't you, Harry? <laughs> right, let's move on, eh? Item three, cicadas. Now, there seems to be quite a few more of them out there this year. And it's starting to freak me out. Good thing we filled the paddling pool before the hose ban, eh? <laughs> Why would they ban hoses? It seems very hosest. Um, I think the issue is the water that comes out of the hose. Oh, <gasps> Riley's a hosest. Guys, look! <laughs> ah, cicadas! Oh, they're like insects! They can fly! Flying insects! Oh, they're so alien! I love them! I wonder why there are so many. I suggest we leave, because I know how this is going to go. Tane will say something. We need to tell someone about this. Then when it's my turn to talk, there'll be a cicada in my hair. Is there a cicada in my hair, Riley? There are seven. Ah, of course there are. <clears throat> oh, you should have heard them, Mum. The laughter. It was like a like a tsunami of hilarity. It was intoxicating, I tell you. That fridge kid was really lolling. The full loll. You know what that means? Laughing out loud. He was picking up what I was laying down, Mum, as they say. <laughs> oh, hot under the collar. That's what I said. Oh, it still makes me laugh every time I think of it. And I came up with it originally, so... Ugh, I'm coming up with something that ain't now. Gross, Mum. You know, I had them in the palm of my hand. I relieved their misery. Ugh, I wish someone would put me out of my misery. You know what? I'll happily put you out of your misery, Mum. Right now, with the gift of comedy. And it won't just stop at you, oh no. I'm gonna take it to the world. <sighs> well, that escalated quickly. Comedy stylings? Oh, I hope he's doing prop comedy. That's a crowd pleaser, okay? Hey, look. Twigs, eh? Uh, hey, uh, the funny thing about branches is, uh... Uh, something about sticking around? 
sticking around, sticking around. <laughs> they stick around. Ah. Oh, I'm quite good. How many this time? About 12. Yeah, 12. Now, what did the Tasman Sea say to the Pacific Ocean? Nothing. They just waved. <laughs> yeah, maybe if I actually wave when I say that, it'd be funnier. Wait, they waved and I waved. Oh, double, double whammy there. So, how have ticket sales been? The tickets are free, Dennis. Oh, free. Well, that's an alluring price. So how many free tickets have we sold then? Two. Oh, two. That's good, that's good. So if we add to that, the two that I've already bought for me and mother, what does that come to? Um, two. I want a refund. One. Oh, what? You're, you're the super duper PR person, and you can't get this island to come to a free comedy gala featuring me, the much loved mayor. I mean, come on! You got them to vote for a prehistoric lizard man! Oh, I agreed to have the open microphone because you suggested it. Oh, what have we done? I thought it might bring a few more punters in. Not to mention they'll all be terrible and make me seem funnier than I already am. Oh, this is a disaster. Well, maybe, maybe they want a solo show. Yeah, that, that could be it. Maybe they just want more of me. Doubtful, but I know a way we can get people to attend. Ooh. What's he got you doing this time, Mr. Slab? Dennis wanted me to install a heat pump. Indeed I did. And I told him to crank it up to super cool, just like me. Pump out the heat, pump in the cool. Mm. Come on in! Oh, this is awesome. True, son, it is. Air conditioning is one of the many things that separates us from the animals. Something that makes man stride over the landscape like... Sorry, Jack. No time for one of your trademark monologues. These kids need to get out there and help promote this very cool event. Oh, what? Do we have to? There's nothing wrong with helping out once in a while, Tane. Oh, I appreciate your volunteering, Jack. Yes, sirree. Once word gets out, things are really going to start heating up. I can't stand it. I'm overheating. Maybe it's the new baby's smoldering good looks. <laughs> Wonder where he gets those, huh? Hmm? Or maybe it's just full of hot air. Well, maybe we should head down to Dennis's comedy show. He's had air conditioning installed. <gasps> oh. Oh. Pretty fast for a pregnant lady. Guys, you gotta check this out. Choice! I love surprise reveals. Especially if it's a buffet meal. Oh, I'm all anxious about the surprise buffet, Riley. <gasps> Raw veal. Ah, well, I'm not eating that. It's a nymph shell. A, a nym and a nymphs. I can't even say it. What is it? Dad, care to explain? I'd love to. You see, cicadas begin life underground as nymphs. Then they crawl out, attach themselves to a tree, and molt their skins. Kaboom. My brother molts. Mum buys them a special shampoo. Ooh, gross. That's dandruff. This type of molting means that they break out of their skins, like aliens. Isn't that right, Dad? Precisely, Riley. Apart from the alien bit. But then they emerge as adults. Yeah, pretty cool. What do they do there? Because the alien, I, oh, sorry, cicada, I mean cicada, has grown too big inside. Science! Oh, hey, oh, hold on. So, so you're saying this huge, scary cicada caught out of there because it's bigger than this? <gasps> um, yes. 
Tane has a point. Tane, he's noticed your point. Put it away. The extreme heat is causing mutations. Cicadas control their temperature by evaporative cooling, analogous to sweating in mammals. Hmm. Yeah, I can't translate that. He lost me. The hotter it gets, the angrier these big guys are going to get. Well, we should warn everyone. They're all at that comedy stylings thing. Come on, then. Let's go, kids. Creepy. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. You just go back inside. We're safe. I'm going to warn everyone. Yes, thanks. I would like my bacon fried. What? In the pan. I don't. I, I can't hear you over the noise. I don't understand what you're doing. You're pointing at a pan. What, what, are you, what are you nodding your head for? We'll stay here! Oh, this is the way to do it. Just sit back. Let the professionals take care of everything. No stress, no life or death adventures, no heroics. Hmm, huh. suppose it does make a nice change. Riley, your dad said the hotter it gets, the angrier they'll be, right? He did. Well, it's getting hotter. And quickly, too. Well, the temperature shouldn't be increasing that quickly. I mean, not on its own, anyway. <gasps> the heat pump. It's pumping heat out. We need to shut it down before the cicadas get all aggro. Hey, wait for me. <laughs> They won't notice if I don't go right. Yeah, they'll be fine. All right! I'm cutting! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and another thing, you gotta ask yourself, people. Why do we put all our trust in government? If I wanted a bunch of incoherent, irrational, squabbling doofuses controlling my life, I would have had children. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, you know. Oh, well, that's quite biting. Not sure this is the right crowd for that sort of humour. Hey, and don't get me started on local council. <laughs> How does one even become a mayor? Do you have to go to mayor school? <laughs> Do you have to apply for consent? Then wait three months before you can sit at your desk. <laughs> mayor school, get it? Oh, I don't know who he's getting at there. But people seem to be laughing. Should they be laughing? It wasn't the plan. And not to worry, Dennis. Every good comic has a warm-up act. You want them in the right mood. You want them laugh-ready. <laughs> oh, bit creepy. But that does make sense. If they're laughing now... Oh, I imagine they'll burst some blood vessels when I'm up there. <laughs> yes! In fact, we should probably get a medic ready! <laughs> Well, this is terrifying. Shh! We have to be quiet. Uh-oh. One of them has crawled up into my cabbage patch. And firstly, ooh. Secondly, just stay calm. Everything will be fine. No, it won't, Riley. I'm about to ruin this. <laughs> G'day, folks. I hope you're all having a safe and responsible afternoon. Oh, great! Who invited the fun police? <laughs> yeah. Now, now, Officer Bacon, <laughs> I was invited by Mayor Dennis Cobb. Oh, bit of a shout out there. Mayor? <laughs> More like nightmare! <laughs> Am I right, folks? <laughs> Oh, they all get it. Yeah. Oh, great wordplay. But that's not cool. <laughs> hey, he's quite good. Oh, is it getting colder in here? Oh, 
I think I can see the town hall. Oh, wow! Oh, they're coming! They're coming! They're getting too strong! <laughs> this is working, but they're not strong. Yeah, I know the girls. It's my dad's bike. All right, folks. I think you'll all agree that's quite enough of the amateur portion of the show. D Dennis, I, I think the air conditioning is set a little cold. Oh, don't worry, Kiri. I think you'll find things are about to warm up in here. Comedically. <laughs> Great. Jack, it's freezing in here. Can you do something? Unless you want your baby to be born part snowman. <laughs> hey, that isn't a joke. All right, folks. Without further ado, it's time for the main act. The moment and the man you've all been waiting for. Me. Right. Starting with some observational humour. <clears throat> you know what the hardest thing is about being mayor? Uh, no, I don't know. Dennis, what is the hardest thing about being mayor? The annual cost reports. <laughs> oh, ha, 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 a cricket noise. Well, I'll have you know, that actually sounded more like a cicada. So if that was you, I'm sorry, you're stuffed up. Turn up the heat! What's that? Turn up the heat? OK. Well, if that's what you want, time for the more risque material. Right. Risque, risque. Uh, OK. <laughs> oh, watch out. Here we go. How do you know if there's a snowman in your bed? It's freezing in here. No, but actually, that's not too bad. That's quite close. The punchline is, you'll wake up wet. <laughs> Good, isn't it? Dennis, this is ridiculous. I'm turning off the heat pump. Cicadas! <laughs> <laughs> Probably taking the same place as my dad. We'll have to go after him. Bridge, you'll have to turn off the heat pump. You've got this, Bridge. What just happened? I can't do this. No, it's all very sudden. I'm feeling uh, a touch faint. No, Bridge, you can do this. So, uh, Curtis, how's everything? Not bad. Today's pretty weird. Cicada invasion. It's a first. Well, speaking of the scientists, this is not the common behaviour of the Magisicada Cassini. Must be due to the mutation or gross biological ignorance. Thoughts, Jack? Ah. Uh, huh? Tony, over here, son. Dad. Uh, you're covered in cicada snot. Actually, it's viscous colloid produced by the goblet cells in the cicadas. Got it. Now hurry up and get us out of the cicada snot. Who's got bare feet? I've got bare feet. Unsafe bare feet. Real fast heartbeat. Uh, buttons. Uh, which button now? This one. I'm freaking out now. <laughs> when in doubt, close your eyes.
Well, you can't say I don't know how to warm up a crowd. <laughs> I've got to say, if that's comedy, I've nailed it. It's actually quite easy. I'm almost bored of it. Almost done, Mr. Slab. Look, look at that. Actually, don't keep working. You did good, bro. Oh, thanks, mate. That's a lot of dead bugs. It's like we've found the alien nest and they're all sleeping and just when you think you're safe. <laughs> you guys were all like, Have you got any of that insect spray? I've got a whole bag full. Such a bargain. Throw it to me. Tane, kick it. Oh, my rainbow sparkle backpack. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. Right in the back of the throat. <laughs> Nothing happened. Give it a moment. Once the gas mixes with the stomach acid, it should... <laughs> yep. Kaboom. Yuck! That's gross as! Uh, uh, I think I'm going to vomit. Well, if you do, Mr. Slab will clean it up! <sighs> Almost done, Mr. Slab! Thank you, New Zealand on the air. It's been a blast.